Well, welcome everybody to Life Nuggets on this awesome holiday, January 2nd. Hope you're having a fantastic day and a happy 2017. I just got a few thoughts I want to just release to you as we begin the new year. And uh, basically it's this. And as I went to the Morning Star Conference, one of the things that really was brought to me was about proclaiming and decreeing. Amen. Hallelujah. And of course, we have the scriptures to go by, what God has promised us, uh, you know, what God has for us. You know, the Bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue. And so we want to proclaim the blessing of the Lord in our life for the blessing of the Lord brings wealth and he adds no trouble or sorrow to it. And if God has spoken a promise to you, hallelujah, you know, he meets every need. If there's a need you have, a vision he has given you, a promise he has made in 2017, you need to open your mouth and begin to proclaim. This is what the Lord says. This is what I need that God has promised me. Amen, that all my needs would be met. God has promised me that he would open up a door. No man can be can shut. So I proclaim victory. I, I proclaim and decree healing in my life, blessing in my family, revival in my nation, revival in my church. Begin to proclaim and decree that which God has spoken and God had said to you and God has shown. Can somebody say amen? Because... Uh, we call things that are not as though they were, amen, and God begins to move and release something supernaturally and prophetically when we open our mouth and proclaim and decree in Jesus' name. Number two, we need to be very specific. I'm thinking about Pastor Cho in uh, South Korea, uh, who pastors like a 750,000 to a million member church when he had absolutely nothing. Uh, you know, he, he said, Lord, I would like to have a bicycle to ride around, to, to visit people, to pray for people. I'd like a, a desk and I'd like a chair. And uh, so he prayed about after about two, three weeks, nothing happened. And then one day in prayer, he said, well, Lord, I need these things to serve you. And I hadn't got them yet. And the Lord said, be spiritual specific be specific in what you're praying about of course the bible says that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us and we know if he hears us we know we have the petitions that god we've asked of god so he said okay i want a, a swivel chair that can move around and roll around with wheels i want a mahogany desk and i want an american-made bicycle those are the best bicycles and this within a couple of weeks or so, he got a call from, from an American missionary who was leaving and going back to America. And he said, hey, I've got some things for you. I've got a beautiful mahogany desk. I've got an American made bicycle that is absolutely awesome. And I've got a chair with swivels, uh, wheels on the bottom. And I'm going to give them to you. <laughs> Amen. And that taught Dr. Cho a valuable lesson. My friends, we don't need to be vague in what we're asking for. We don't need to shoot a shotgun blast here in 2017. We need to proclaim and decree, you know, victory in our life and every situation. We need to be specific in what we're asking for. And number three, we need to be persistent. We got a lot of weak need people. They want to throw up a quick prayer. They want to go to church once or twice. They want to just wall mully grub around. But we have to be persistent. Amen. Persistence is key in 17. And I'm thinking about in Luke 18, the parable of the unjust judge. A woman kept coming to him saying, Grant me mercy against my adversary. Grant me mercy against my adversary. She came back again. Grant me mercy against my adversary. Grant me mercy against my adversary. On and on and on she came persistently. And uh, Jesus, you know, had said, you know, uh, that he wanted people to always pray and never quit and give up. So finally, the unjust judge said, my goodness, this lady's wearing me out. I'm going to go ahead and grant her justice against her adversary and give her what her heart desires before this lady wears me out. And I'm telling you, the, the, the Heavenly Father hears his children crying out to him, and will he not answer them swiftly, Jesus said, and quickly. So my friends, as we go into 17, open your mouth, 
proclaim and decree what God has shown, spoken, and written to you and for you. Be specific, amen, in your prayers and be persistent because it's through faith and patience we inherit the promises. I'm telling you, it's going to be a good year. So be blessed and receive the goodness of God in 17. For God is good. Can somebody give me an amen? Love you and I'll see you next time on Life Nuggets. Peace out, baby. Boom.